This video demonstrates how to identify potential problems with the printability of the type in your design and outlines some strategies for fixing any problems you may find. The two most common problems associated with unprintable type are lines or serifs that are too thin to print, filling in of space between or within letters caused by insufficient knockout space. All components of your type must be at least one point. Any component that is thinner than one point will not print. You can check to see if a line within an image is sufficiently thick by drawing a one point line next to it. Since the line we just drew is thicker than the lines that make up the letters, these lines are not printable. Knockout space is defined as any area that is created using negative space. This negative space is where the color of your garment will show through. If the knockout space between or inside your letters is not at least two points, it may fill in with ink during the printing process. The procedure for checking knockout space is similar to that used to check line thickness. This time, create a two-point line and see if the line will fit within or between any knockout areas in your image. If it doesn't, your image will need to be adjusted. We will explore these issues using five common fonts, Times New Roman, Impact, Helvetica, Arial, and Myriad. But you can use the methods described here to check any font you decide to use in your design. A serif is an embellishment on a letter that is not part of the main letter form. Times New Roman is a common serif font. Since serifs are usually small details, they will not print properly at a small size. As you can see, this 16-point type is far from being within specs, primarily due to the presence of the serifs and the thin lines in the font. In order to print this font, we'd have to enlarge the text to at least 56 points which makes this font a very poor choice for small text. Impact is a sans serif font. Since it lacks serifs, it does not suffer from the same problem as Times New Roman. It is also bold, so its components are thick enough to print at a small size. Unfortunately, the centers of the letters are very thin and do not meet the minimum two-point knockout requirements. In fact, the insides of the letters such as the O and E are so thin that the minimum font size for impact is 80 points, which makes it a very poor choice for small text. Similarly, the bold versions of most fonts will suffer from knockout issues because there is less space within the centers of the letters than in the non-bold versions. Helvetica and Arial are better choices for small sizes, but some letters do present problems. Notice the thin space between these components of the S and E. In order to meet the art requirements, both Helvetica and Arial must be at least 30 points. Myriad is another sans serif font, but unlike Helvetica and Arial, its S and E meet the minimum requirements at a much smaller size. This font is safe to print at sizes as small as 16 points. Similar fonts such as Calibri, Trebuchet MS, Verdana, and Tahoma can also be printed at 16 points. We recommend using one of these fonts anytime you must set text below 30 points. If the type in your design has not yet been converted to curves, changing the font is easy. First, open the Character Formatting palette. Now, use the Type tool to select some text and change it from an unprintable Times New Roman to the optimally printable Myriad. Notice, however, that the font size is only 12 points and is therefore too small to print. Luckily, 
we can easily change the size to 16 points. One problem still remains because the space between the letters is still less than two points. You can adjust the space between the letters by adjusting the kerning. Here, we adjust it to 15% to ensure that there is enough space between the letters. If the type in your design is not editable because it was previously converted to curves, then you will need to recreate the text from scratch. First, we delete the original text and retype. As before, we select an appropriate font and set the type to a reasonable size. Then, we adjust the kerning to make sure there is enough space between the letters. To review, check all type used in your design to make sure it meets the minimum requirements for line width and knockout space. Use sans serif fonts such as Myriad for small type for optimal printability. Pro World Custom. Produce your own custom transfers at pwcustom.com.